If you are trying to get a, a business loan EIN only for your cargo van, here are the steps I want you to follow right now. The first thing you have to do is to understand your small business's needs. Okay, you probably have a cargo van right now. You are a uh, you are an owner operator. You are a sole proprietorship. You're an LLC. You are a fleet a fleet operator. Whatever your status, boss. I want you first to have a, a clear idea of what your needs are. What do you need the money for? Talk to me about that. Okay, you can't just uh, attempt to get an EIN only business loan for your cargo van if you have no idea what you're going to use the cash for. And this is a very important question because the lenders are going to probe you on, on on that aspect of things. Okay, so what are the needs that you? What do we have here, son? Talk to me, boss. Talk to me. So, are you do you need do you need the cash for uh, to purchase equipment for your cargo van? Do you need the cash for uh, working capital for your cargo van business? to purchase property, to refinance the current loan, to expand your business. A lot of things are on the table, right? A lot of, so the thing is you have to sit down, write on a piece of paper what you need, you need the money for. So when we talk about understand your small business's needs for your cargo van, there are three things I want you to do right now. As you as you sit down, have a piece of paper and write things on, a, on, that, on that sheet, I want you to answer three questions for me. How much do you need? What do you need the money for? And how are you going to uh, repay the, the loan? I'll talk about how much you need in the, in the next section, but I just want to give you the foundation that you need to uh, to uh, clarify before you even talk to any lender. But you know why? Because uh, if you don't answer those questions, those, those lenders, they're, they're not even going to pay attention to you. Okay, it's all about making sure that you have a you have a, a level of granularity in the analysis before you even start doing anything. Okay, boss. So if you want to get an EIN only business loan for your cargo van, please do me a favor. Understand your small business's needs. And I'm not talking about just understanding and understanding things like very superficially. No, I'm asking you to go granular. Go granular. Okay, be detailed. Talk to me about what you need the money for. Talk to me about the fact about how you're going to use the cash to expand your business. Talk to me about how you are going to repay the lender. The second thing I want you to do here is to determine how much you can borrow. Okay. By the way, welcome back to the show. I really appreciate having you here today, boss. So we're having a quick convo about how to get an EIN only business loan for your cargo van. So first step, understand your small business's needs. Step number two, determine how much you can borrow. See, there is a delta. There is a difference. There is a, there is a gap between how much you can borrow and how much you will be, you'll be uh, approved for. So it's very important to be conservative when you are thinking about how much you can borrow. And when we talk about how much you can borrow, we're talking about your liquidity, your cash inflows and cash outflows. Boss, talk to me about your current debt level. How much debt do you have? How much current debt do you have? Because this is going to be this is going to be very important because this is going to impact something called your DTI, your debt to income ratio. Because if your debt if your debt is high, lenders are going to look at your application and say, mm -mm, mm -mm, "This is a risky proposition. We're not going to do it They're either." your ass will be denied or they will give your ass a small loan amount which which whatever option it is it, this is not a, an option you want because you want you want you want funds to expand your business to take care of business literally okay so determine how much you can borrow mean, means what you first identify how much debts you currently have outstanding how much are your monthly payments to those to service those debts and how much extra cash you have to uh, to repay whatever loan you you get approved for. In other words, it, are you generating enough revenue, enough cash flow, enough cash inflow to repay the loan? Okay, because that loan once you, as soon as you get the loan, you are going to use that loan for something else. Which means that the cash is not going to come from that loan. The cash must come from somewhere else to help you repay the loan. So be very careful here. Determine how much you can borrow. Look at your DTI, your debt to income ratio to see where you are at currently and how much more debt you can actually uh, take on. So big decision time, boss, big decision time. What is your current DTI in percentage? 30%, 40%, 50%, 
Where are you at? Where are you at? Talk to me about that. The thing is, if you are above 30%, you are in, in danger zone. Boss, you are in danger zone. You need to bring it down. You need to bring it down to like 25 or 20%. That's where the sweet spot is at. The third thing I want you to do, boss, if you're interested in having, uh, by the way, I wanted to remind you of today's topic. We're having a conversation about how to get an EIN only business loan for your cargo van. Okay. The third thing I want you to do here is to look for eligibility. You need to look into eligibility requirements. See, the whole thing is that all cargo van business lenders, especially when we're talking about EIN only, they will ask you for some requirements that you need to meet, right? Maybe they'll ask you for the, the cargo van itself that you're trying to finance or lease or whatever you need the cash for because because your cargo van, sorry about that. So your cargo van is really, your cargo van is the main instrument that will help you generate revenue, okay? If you are an owner operator or a fleet operator, your vehicles are essentially the engine of profitability. It is what it is, which means that the lender is going to base his or her decision on your uh, your cargo van among other things so when we talk about eligibility be sure that you have talked to the lender or you have read on their website what they're asking for specifically usually when we talk about EIN only the car the, the lender is not going to ask you for your credit score no now if you waive the EIN option then we go back to the, to the credit score sort of uh, credit score requirements but uh, usually they will ask you for three or four things they will ask you for your time in business they will ask you for uh, like documents or like paperwork that shows that you have a legit business that your cargo van business is legit like you have filed paperwork with the state and they will ask you for your financial statements they will ask you for things like your uh, your annual revenue they will ask you for your balance sheet your income statement your cash flow statement and in some cases, they'll ask you to actually produce the, uh, there's something called the asset sheet. So fixed asset sheet. So every uh, every business loan, I mean, every business loan, every cargo van, if you're using the cargo van as your uh, as your primary instrument of profitability, in other words, that's the, the, that's the car that allows you to make money. You're going to have to have an asset sheet, a fixed asset sheet that, that shows the lender how, how long, like when you bought the, the vehicle, whether it is leased or uh, or bought that you own it, you know, and they'll ask you for other stuff. So bottom line, what's the bottom line? My bottom line here, they'll ask you for your financial statements. They'll ask you for a time in business. They'll ask you for articles of incorporation or articles of organization, anything about your business. So those are the requirements. And it very rarely do they ask you for your credit score because uh, when we talk about a cargo van business loan with EIN only, the cargo van represents the collateral upon which the loan is based. That's why they could do this with EIN only. That's why the, the lender is not really scared about anything. They'll give you the, the cash, not a problem, okay? Let's talk about step number four. So step number four, you wanna research the types of uh, cargo van business loans with EIN only. This is important, why? Well, when we talk about how to get an EIN, an EIN only business loan for your cargo van, you need to understand that there are different types, okay? And this is why originally I asked you, you need to understand your small business's needs. What do you need, what do you need the cash for, boss? Son, daughter, mom, dad, grandpa, grand, grandma, I'm just talking to you now about this you need to understand the types of business loans we're speaking about when it comes to your cargo van. So when we talk about cargo van, EIN only, business loans, we do have a term loans. We have uh, the classical equipment loans. We have startup loans. We have SBA loans. We have cash advances. We have invoice financing and we have lines of credit. My question to you is boss, where do you find yourself at? Which loans are you really interested in? Are you a startup? Are you an established cargo van business? What is your geography? What is what what types of uh, loads do you haul? Because the loads that you haul will have a will have an impact on profitability, also on something called the risk sector. Okay, because the, not the risk sector, the sector risk. 
because the thing is that the lender is going to say okay th this loads that you're hauling we do have a lot of competition uh, in this field and chances are three or five years from now you might not be around because there's so much competition or the lender might say you know what you are on a niche on a niche sector so there is no risk because maybe you're doing a hazard uh, you're doing a hazmat hazmat material uh, hauling and you're not you're like you you're one out of uh you're the only one in the trusted area so lenders are saying hey listen your profit is just baked in but uh so when you research the types of uh business loans available make sure that you pick one that is in sync with your businesses need your cargo van businesses needs right now and earlier i was just talking to you about your financial statements and we talked about your annual revenue all that kind of stuff make sure that you also talk about how you monetize your business whether you're being paid on a rate per mile or a rate per hour or a, or a rate per contract so you have the rpc the rpm and uh, the rph okay now let's talk about step number five you need to explore available lenders Okay, by the way, I want to quickly remind you of today of the topic. Today's topic, we're having a conversation about how to get an EIN only business loan for your cargo van. Okay, so step number one, you need to understand your small business's needs. Step number two, you need to determine how much you can borrow. Number three, you need to look into eligibility requirements. Number four, you need to research the types of uh, business loans available for your cargo van, especially with EIN only. And number five, now we we are need we need to really focus on the lenders the thing is when you talk about cargo van business loans EIN only large approval real fast you have uh, three to four categories three to four main categories of, of players okay you have uh, first your bank so you're, you're so when we talk about banks we are I would say you want to start with the bank where you are where you currently have a relationship at Okay, the bank where you have a business account, business checking account, a personal checking account, a, a bank where they know you, where the, where the cash inflows of your cargo van business are flowing through, right? So, you, and when we talk about banks, you can start with, you can have a, a national bank, such as Wells Fargo, City, Bank of America, or, uh, you know, Chase, or you can go to a mid-tier bank. So we're speaking about PNC, the truest of the world, the fifth third of the world, the U.S. Bank of the world. We have the BMO Harris. So that's the, the that's the second tier, and then you have the third tier of banks. Those will be uh, the Capital One, the TD Ameritrade, right? The uh, the Huntington Bank of the world. The so, and then you have uh, the the state banks and the local banks. It's important that you have a clear idea about banking bank hierarchy so you know that based on your geography you can get a cargo van business loan EIN only real quick so you have so you also have the same hierarchy for credit unions you have credit unions that are national you have a Navy Fed that credit union you have Penn Fed even though Penn Fed does not actually uh, do uh, business loans but hey they're there and you have Connexus you have uh, Alliance you have a uh, Consumers Credit Union, CCU. So those are the national ones. And then you have the regional credit unions. You have uh, the BECU of the world. You have uh, the uh, the first deck of the world. You do have uh, the Lake Michigan of the world. So you have a constellation of players in that field too. And uh, one thing I want to say also is that then you also have the online lenders. Okay, so online lenders. That's that's the third category. And then you also have uh, alternative lenders such as Balboa Capital, you have uh, Kalamata Group, you have, uh, you, so you have a lot of players. So when we talk about exploring available lenders, you're going to have to do some digging. Now, if you have any question, we're, we're, our team will, cert, will really will, will, will gladly help you. We do have uh, tons of uh, research about, about this subject. So just drop us a comment based on your geography. We'll tell you which lender will actually uh, will actually help you out okay but it's important to actually have a lender that actually understands your your business the the next thing you want to do here is to gather documentation 
you gotta gather you got you have to gather documentation if you want to get a an EIN only business loan for your cargo van please do me a favor I want you to start right now to uh, gather your documentation okay don't don't wait till the last minute so the lender will ask you to have a uh, three months of business bank statements for for your cargo van business and you, you need to have a copy of your driver's license or state ID you will need to have a voter check from your business checking account you gotta have proof of business ownership that the cargo van business really belongs to you or to somebody that uh, you have access to you need to have month-to-month -month transactions for the last two to three years so when we talk about month-to-month -month transactions this go back this goes back to what I said earlier about the RPM the RPC and the RPH sort of uh, monetization, monetization models RPM standing for a rate per mile RPH standing for a rate per hour and RPC standing for a rate per uh, per contract so you know because lenders really want to go granular they want to understand really what's happening they'll ask you for your tax returns for the tax returns of your uh, of your cargo van business okay so this could be depending this will depend really on uh, the uh, the legal structure of your of your business because for example if you're an LLC then you don't that you you'll have to provide your 1065 and and schedule K1 in addition to your to your 1040 schedule C if you're if you're a C corporation it will have to be form 1120 if you're an S corporation it will have to be form 1120s okay and they'll ask you for your business bank statements your they will ask you for a business plan a profit and loss statement like a financial statement all these things you might be thinking this is a lot it's not a lot it's just the price you have to pay if you are trying to have an EIN only business loan for your cargo van look at it that way because when you have an EIN only business loan approved it's a huge huge relief you know why because there's no PG there's no personal guarantee something goes bad and stuff does go bad in, in this world especially in the cargo van uh, industry so when something goes bad something goes south you know you are covered at least you're covered quote unquote at the personal level okay they will ask you also for your business license in some cases so they'll also also ask you the amount of money you want to borrow when your business started and some general information about your cargo van business and uh, in some cases they'll also ask you to to provide some kind of uh, context about the cargo van and the last thing I, I want you to do right now is to apply okay so if you want to apply for a cargo van if you want to get an, an EIN and only business loan for your cargo van I mean you've done all the research now it's about time to apply hmm you have to apply so it's important to understand though that depending on the the lender that you have chosen you might have to apply online over the phone at a branch or via regular mail okay and one thing I want to say here is that if possible if at all possible always go for business loans that that could pre-qualify you and the thinking behind that is that you want to preserve your FICO score or your Vantage score 3.0 you want to make sure that you don't actually shed you, you shed as few as few points as possible okay and this is kind of cool now you always want to start if you go with the bank the bank in nine times out of ten banks and credit union they would want you to come to a branch they would want you to sit down with someone and so they can go over the paperwork with you blah 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 it, this is good though I mean a lot of uh, entrepreneurs owner operators cargo van business owners they don't like that because they would rather be at the wheel on the road hauling for clients and making money but again going back to what I said about this is an investment it is an investment so make up make the time the necessary time for this investment and it's going to pay this is going to pay big time because if you get a loan for a hundred thousand dollars and with uh, with no PG that's a huge that's a huge improvement okay and so when we talk about applying also one thing I need to say here is remember that timing is everything because depending on the loan the type of loan that works best for your cargo van business it could take days or weeks for the loan to be approved and for you to get funds okay and this this is kind of important to think of, to to uh, have in mind because if you need the cash real fast you're gonna have to be patient
Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was just talking to you about how to get an EIN only business loan for your cargo van. And uh, so you need to understand your cargo van business's needs. You need to determine how much you can borrow. I'm just doing a, a quick recap here. Okay, boss. So the, number three, you have to look into eligibility requirements. Number four, you need to research the types of business loans available. Number five, you need to explore available lenders. Number six, you need to gather documentation. And number seven, you need to apply. Thank you. I will speak to you another time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.